Hi, my name is Christelle and welcome to Untethered Love. This is a reading for the collective. Now, this is actually my first reading on YouTube on this platform. I do have other readings as well as other content pertaining to astrology, spirituality, personal growth um, on my TikTok. So you can check that out. I'll leave the links below. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to bring those messages here and kind of expand on just different things I've talked about in the past on that platform. But yeah, we're gonna get into a collective read. We are in Taurus season. I am currently really feeling myself and feeling very cute um, and like ready. I don't know, it's springtime, Taurus season, very fertile. The way this reading is gonna go down is I have already pulled a card from the Kali Oracle deck. Um, and from this card, I will be doing more messages, pulling tarot cards, and we'll get right into it. But before I pull tarot cards, I'm gonna read a little message from the booklet about this card, which is 26 Shodashi. And this deck is very, very beautiful. Um, the artwork on it is stunning. But yeah, let me get into it like a little short tidbit on this. Ruby red with the divine juice of life. She nourishes the body, mind, and soul with vitalization. <laughs> with vitalizing pleasure, life, and joyfulness. Goddess Shodashi restores self-esteem and an awareness of our innate value, especially after a time of painful rejection or disappointment. Through her blessings, the desires of the heart can find fulfillment in new ways. She brings divine energy for the manifestation of wishes. Her presence is an indication of inner power to restore yourself and to attract what you need in your life. Beautiful. I've been wearing the color red a lot, so I'm very happy she came out but yeah let's pull some more cards on this we are just ending a mercury retrograde in taurus jupiter is about to hit taurus i believe in tomorrow we're at 29 degrees um aries the sun is in taurus there's a lot of cancer energy there's a lot of like lovely divine feminine energy in the air we are in the springtime flowers are blossoming mother's day was yesterday um so really honoring the divine feminine within you it should be paramount at this time and actually a message that i've been receiving um a lot lately aside from what i've pulled or am going to be pulling here is allowing your divine feminine to be the leader to take that leadership role and to guide us living in a patriarchy um in a patriarchal society it's often thought of that men should take the lead but in actuality when it comes to creation literally when it comes to like the biology of creating human life the ovary itself has selects the um the little sperm that it chooses to fertilize itself so in biology a lot of people think that it's like the strongest sperm that wins um and gets to uh fertilize the egg when in fact it's actually the ovary the egg that chooses the sperm it wants to be fertilized by so it's really important right now to allow the your feminine energy your intuitive wild chaotic um beautiful i've been getting the imagery of the she-wolf a lot lately and allowing her to step forward and to be the guidance and for her to direct your masculine energy. Your masculine energy serves your feminine energy. So 
get that inspiration from your divine feminine get the the next steps that will lead you towards what you want and allow your masculine energy within you to really come forward and initiate the action um, of what your divine feminine wants so <laughs> whether that be internally or maybe um within your relationship dynamics so yeah let's let's pull these cards i'm not like i'm talking and i'm not shuffling so let's shuffle here let's get a past present card first sheet message for the collective what does the collective need to hear right now under these current energies what does the collective need to hear keep seeing the ten of swords so there is an ending of sorts happening or has happened more <laughs> ten of cups wanted to make an appearance ten of swords ten of cups ten 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 in the past position we have the three of cups in the present position, we have the Knight of Wands. And in the future position, we have the Hierophant. At the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands right in the center of this, it's like you're charging forward towards your desires. Ooh, 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 so many cards. Fuck it, we'll take it. Wait, no, okay, hold on. <laughs> In the past, you couldn't see your way out of some sort of painful situation. Lots of threes coming out. We have the three of swords, three of cups, three of wands, eight of swords, six of cups, full card, and the knight of swords. Yeah, in the past, there may have been some sort of, there was something beautiful that was in the past, but it also came with a lot of heartache. There was celebration, yet heartache, grief, sorrow. Um, and you couldn't see your way out, but you did. You could see, you knew what you had to do, but you might have been kind of lost in the memory of things of how good things were and not in the present of how things are right now we have the page of cups wanting to come through yeah there was this beautiful loving energy in your past and you may have rushed towards <laughs> something that you thought was like Ooh, this is lovely this is great 
this is fun um but the great lovely fun thing also came with swords okay we have the four of pentacles with the star card so yeah there's like a healing that happens <clears throat> a sort of I don't know, with this, I typically, when I see the Four of Pentacles, my mind automatically goes to holding on too tightly to something. But I feel like with the Star card here, you're hold. regardless of whatever type of situation you're coming from, whatever heartbreak or grief or sorrow, despair, depression, that time period had some really great gems some really great nuggets of wisdom and going forward you're holding on kind of leaving like the trash behind but finding the little gold nuggets the wisdom behind all of the craziness that's happened and really going forward and taking your wisdom with you while leaving all the rest behind and in and of that doing that itself is really um a fantastic way of propelling forward and expanding your healing so knight of wands give me clarity on the knight of wands clarity on the knight of wands got the queen of wands so yeah really stepping into your creative power Stepping into your vivaciousness, your passions. Um, yeah, I think kind of like what I was saying before when I began this reading, another the, the message that I was getting before, because we have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck, really coming into union with yourself and in allowing all of the energies within you that may seem polarizing um by allowing all of them to kind of cooperate with one another or recognize at least recognize one another and be like okay we're different but we're both here sharing this space this human um this spirit this soul in allowing that internal harmony you're able to really spark your creativity um, in a really beautiful way. Okay, and let's go to the Hierophant in the future position. Uh huh. So, to clarify the Hierophant, we have the Star card, the Hanged Man, and the World. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me just sit here with this for a little second. I think you're going to be stepping into a authoritative position um, where you become some type of authority in whatever creative Thing that you are working on mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay but going forward I got the seven of swords with the seven of pentacles and because the hierophant is like the main card here there you are stepping into a figure of authority but this is going to take work and patience the hierophant is a taurus card it is tradition structures so in order to really build like this leadership you know sturdy foundation position um it's going to take work and it's going to take patience and rushing forward can lead to self sabotage so really take your time be dedicated to whatever creative process you're going through a lot of threes a lot of sevens 
and in taking your time and kind of being like meticulous and intentional really be intentional every step of the way of whatever you're building or creating and this really opens up your world to so many beautiful things um, it really opens up the heart opens up the solar plexus having positive willpower not just being doing what you want because you feel like it which is a beautiful thing but co-creating so knowing what you want and allowing the universe to give you direction and using like divine willpower to create as opposed to rushing forward in like you did in the past with the fool and the knight of swords can i get an overall what did advice overall advice yes 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 so overall advice we've got the lovers the four of swords and the king of swords really being clear about what you want setting proper boundaries with yourself and with others taking the time to rest <laughs> it's so it is so important for us to rest our minds our bodies our spirits really take the time to be diligent with like meditating or at least having some sort of like quiet time every single day make sure you're getting your six to eight hours six to ten hours depending on um, especially if you're someone with a vulva we need sleep we do not operate on the 24-hour cycle that um, people with penises operate with we have a 28-day cycle and it's really important for us to rest so doing that and in that rest and in that coming to a space of clarity groundedness centeredness coming from centeredness heart space you're going to be able to really come into union with yourself and in having that unity that cohesion you are very attractive you are there you're attracting lots of beautiful beautiful things um let's pull a little bit more oracle cards as well i have i forget the name of this deck the african goddess rising deck here so considering we have all this feminine energy going on what goddess would be good to work with or what goddess has a message for the collective oh, oh, oh so many so many <laughs> we're gonna hold on we can't take all of these this is like half the deck so what we're gonna do these cards are really slippery so all right oh yeah made a little appearance so all you children of oh yeah she here okay we've got Atiti, worthiness. Oshun, fearless love. Ooh. And Satira, brazen. Very lovely. Now let me just look at these. There's a lot of yellow going on over here. So really working with the solar plexus to build your confidence to let yourself shine you know sun card we got the brazen here and fearless love yeah step into know who the fuck you are <laughs> know that you are that girl um just coming into a deeper sense of self-love and like that cohesion within self really is able to help you create and build. With each of these, there's an affirmation, um, which 
with each of these goddesses. Let me just find the book here. So with Oshun, the affirmation is, I give love, I receive love, I am love. You are love. You are worthy of loving. Your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love. You deserve to be loved in your language. You are worthy of love that remembers your beauty as your ugly, at your ugliest moments. Don't allow your unhealed past to block your future. Real love is a sacred, sacred contract that says, I am valuable and committed. Your heart is safe with me. Oh no. I am vulnerable. <laughs> I am vulnerable and committed. Your heart is safe with me. Let's expand our consciousness together. Lovely. And then with Atiti, I hope I'm saying that right. Her affirmation is I matter. You matter. Worthiness is your veins. Accept yourself now. Your birth certificate says that we need your un overflowing magic, joy, and vulnerability. Vulnerability, okay. Um, the most in and most importantly, we need you. You are deserving and worthy. The beautiful parts of you that everyone likes are worth loving. The parts that you and others dis dislike are worth loving too. Your creator loves you unconditionally. So in like the loving of ourselves, when you really love yourself unconditionally, when you've seen like witnessed yourself at your worst and at your best and love all those parts, it's a lot easier to shine to show yourself, to show up, to um, be brazen. <laughs> and, and the reason that is, is because no matter what comes into your life, if, if no matter who comes into your life, if you are rejected, you always can fall back on the unconditional love you have for yourself and also the unconditional love that you receive from source, God, the divine. And then let's do the last card is Citra, Cit Satira, okay. Um, and the affirmation is, I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. <laughs> Make the brazen decision. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. Goddess, God, force energy is brazen. I think that's like a lovely place to end this reading. So be brazen, y'all. It's... We're in springtime, summer is around the corner, you know, hot girls are out here. So um, get into your, into your hot girl bag, into your queen of wands bag, into your sun card bag, um, and really enjoy these energies and create, create, create. I hope this message resonated with you. If it did, please let me know below like this, share this, subscribe, all those good things. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.